From within an existing 3D floor plan, the My Products tab is accessible from the right rail. From here, products that have been clipped or manually added to the library will appear and can be converted into 3D products. As you can see, products that have already been converted are indicated by the 3D icon on the upper left of the title. It's easy to search for specific products using the search bar at the top and the additional filters here, where I can filter by converted 3D products only, products that are ready for review, which we'll discuss in just a moment, and products in my library. First, let's clip a product to convert. The client would like to replace the chairs in this floor plan, so I'll clip this product. Then, from my products, I'll click Convert to 3D on the upper right. To the right of this button is also where I'll see the total number of credits I have for the month. A window will pop up, alerting me to select images over a clear background. And sure enough, the image of the product I've selected already has a white background, so I'll click Continue. I'll select the image, then I'll be prompted to highlight the object from the background by adding or subtracting reference points to mask my object. I can toggle between adding points or subtracting information here, undo, redo, and reset. If needed, I can refer to the original product link here. Once I'm happy with the mask, House Pro will convert this 2D image into a 3D product. Once converted, the product exists in My Products, and I'll be prompted to review to set the proper orientation, add in the product type, furniture or decorative accents, to help determine where the product will be placed, on the floor or on tables and shelves, and add in the dimensions of the product so it can be added to the floor plan at the proper scale. Now that it's been reviewed, this item can be added to the floor plan. I'll click the black plus sign to the left and can now edit and place this object as I would any generic products or sourced products.